so today i am going to explain your rectifier and different types of rectifier and after rectifier i will explain what is the function of filter now before i explain the basic understanding regard, regarding rectifier first i think i should explain you what is that which is what we are deal with to do with rectifier so basic principle of rectification that is to convert ac into dc signal so that is the basic purpose which is what we need to fulfill by using rectifier circuit so our aim is to convert ac signal into dc signal now usually if we see our sig signal which is what coming at our home so that is what usually ac signal and in india that signal's frequency is 50 hertz and that voltage is about to 30 voltage so how we use dc signal in our appliances there is so many applications like we use mobile battery charger likewise there are so many chargers which is what having rectification inside of that circuit and there are so many other circuits which is what need to have constant dc voltage and that we can achieve by having rectifier circuit now if we see the basic circuit of rectifier where initially we use transformer initially we use transformer where this transformer converts higher voltage to lower voltage if we use step down transformer here i have used step down transformer so this step down transformer is converting high voltage into low voltage how that has been achieved by having more amount of winding at primary side with respect to secondary side we can have step down conversion similarly if we want to have step up transformer in that case there should be more amount of winding at secondary side with respect to primary side so here step down transformer that is just converting voltage scale at input to output so it is not converting ac to dc it is just transforming signal in terms of voltages so that signal will remain ac to ac only but now you will be having somewhat less voltage at output side now so see ultimately this is what ac signal which is what we are giving to this up of circuit this ac signal is been translated into ac by using this transformer now this is what we are giving it to this complete circuit and now now we'll see how this is what converting into dc now that is what we will bisect into two parts one is positive half cycle and one is negative half cycle now what happens during positive half cycle during positive half cycle this terminal of transformer is positive with respect to this at that time anode of this diode is positive with respect to cathode so this diode this will come in forward bias so when this diode is in forward bias it will on and because of it is on current will flow in this loop current will flow in this loop and whatever input that is been given to this circuit that will go to output so your output waveform that will be this where you can say that diode is on during this half cycle now what happens during negative half cycle during negative half cycle this terminal is positive with respect to this so at that time cathode is positive with respect to anode and when cathode is positive with respect to anode this diode is off and if that diode is off there will be open circuit and due to that is open circuit output is zero and again in positive cycle there will be input to output and during again negative cycle the diode is off and your output will be zero so here diode is off and here diode is on so this is how you will be having ac into dc 
now this is even not a pure dc it is pulsating dc that we will see in filter portion how we can convert pulsating dc into smooth dc so this is what we are converting from full wave to half wave that's why this rectifier circuit is called as half wave rectifier circuit so that's why this is what the circuit which is what converting half wave rectifier circuit now we will see full wave rectifier so over here we have full wave rectifier circuit where we give 230 ac with 50 hertz and again we have step down transformer which is what converting ac into ac only that is what converting ac into ac only but here voltage scaling that will be less at output side the reason is primary is having more winding with respect to secondary now this is center trap transformer so what happens in center trap transformer that again we will see with respect to positive and negative half cycle when we have positive half cycle at that time this terminal is positive with respect to this terminal at that time even this terminal is positive with respect to this terminal and this will stay neutral so when it is neutral when it is neutral at that time you can say that this diode is having anode at this terminal and cathode at this terminal so this anode is positive with respect to cathode so diode d1 will be on and current will flow in this loop while anode of this diode d2 is negative with respect to neutral which is what cathode so this diode d2 that is off so here this is off so there will be no current in this loop while if we see this diode d1 that is on the reason is this is what positive with respect to neutral so anode is positive with respect to cathode results into d1 is on so current is flowing in this loop across this load so output waveform that is this where d1 is on and d2 is off now what happens in negative half cycle in negative half cycle this is positive with respect to this so at that time this terminal is positive with respect to this again this will stay neutral so at that time anode of this diode d2 is positive with respect to cathode which is resulting d2 is on and current will flow in this loop while anode of d1 diode that is negative with respect to cathode that's why this will be off and again current direction that is in this direction again current direction that is in this direction so your output waveform will be in same direction as it was there in positive half cycle where d2 is on and d1 is off and that is what getting repeated again and again so d1 is on and then d2 is off and again vice versa that will get repeated continuously and this is what full wave conversion that we are achieving at output side so this is how we are converting full wave from ac to dc so this is what center tapped full wave rectifier now this circuit is having few disadvantages like root mean square value uh, vrms value of current which is flowing through this load that is what having effect of this center tap transformer as well as peak inverse voltage that is what uh, the creating problem in this the reason is sustainability of diode that is that should be more when you use the center tap transformer so here you we need to have diode which is having more power handling capacity compared to the normal full wave transformer uh, full wave rectifier now so to remove that disadvantage we will be going to use full wave bridge rectifier so full wave bridge rectifier circuit that is available here 
where again we give AC 230 voltage and here we don't use center tap transformer again this is what step down transformer so this is what converting AC to AC only but voltage scaling will be different here step down transformer is there the reason is primary is having more winding with respect to secondary so output voltage will be less compared to input voltage now what happens in positive half cycle so during positive half cycle this is positive with respect to this so at that time we can see diode d1 that is having cathode over here and anode over here and here there will be anode and this is cathode and again this is what cathode and anode and this is cathode and this is anode so what happens when positive up cycle is there at that time this diode d2 that is coming into forward bias as well as this diode d3 that will stay in forward bias so what happens current will flow in this loop during positive half cycle so if we consider this is what positive of load with respect to this terminal then we will be having output waveform which is what this where diode d2 and d3 is on and diode d1 and d4 is off now let us see what happens in negative up cycle in negative up cycle this terminal is negative and this terminal is positive so this diode d4 and d1 this will come in forward bias so current will flow in this direction so current is flowing in this direction so if we see previously current direction through the load that was this so in both of the direct both of the cycle current direction is same through the load so again that input which is what we are giving with negative half cycle that will get translated into positive only and during which your output waveform that is having d1 and d4 on and d2 and d3 off and that is how it is getting repeated continuously and here peak inverse voltage requirement which is less than the peak inverse voltage requirement which was there in that uh, center tape full wave transform uh, rectifier so that is how basic operation of rectifier circuit is happening and we have rectification operation which is what having output which is pulsating dc output now to convert this pulsating dc into smooth dc to convert this pulsating dc into smooth dc we need to connect filter circuit so we'll see how filter circuit is working so to use filter circuit usually we use capacitive and inductive element so how to use capacitor circuit as a filter circuit so to have a use of capacitor circuit as a filter circuit we should connect capacitor in parallel to the load so if we connect capacitor in parallel to the load capacitor blocks dc component and it pass ac component so across load there will be dc component and ac component will bypass through capacitor so load will have less ac component so that is how this capacitor will provide filtering operation to the pulsating dc and that we can convert into smooth dc now let us try to understand what happens with respect to uh, waveform so here we have half wave rectifier which we have seen like this is how pulsating dc is been generated 
where if we connect capacitor then capacitor will get charge capacitor will get charge when voltage is increasing and capacitor is getting discharge if we make discharging time constant is higher with respect to charging time constant then it will take more time to get discharge so that is how it is getting discharge and again as voltage increases it is getting charge and as voltage decreases it is getting discharge so previously that variation in dc that was this much but after connecting capacitor across the load now that variation that is getting limited up by this much quantity only so that is how we can utilize capacitor as a filter now how we can have inductor as a filter circuit now to understand it we should connect inductor in series with load so when we connect inductor in series with load it is working as a filter the reason is inductor is having basic characteristic which block ac and pass dc through it so when dc components that is coming through this series to the load at that time dc component will pass by this inductive element and ac component will get block over here so it cannot pass through this link so load will not face that many ac component so now let us try to understand what happens in waveform as we know inductor is having basic characteristic which is what opposing change in signal with respect to time so when signal increases at that time that output will start to decrease so that is why how it is getting increase and when signal is getting decrease at that time that output will increase so that is how output of inductive filter that will come so when input signal that is getting increase output passing through this inductor will start to decrease when signal is getting decrease output across inductor will start to increase so that is how it is opposing and you can see previously range which is what having variation that was this much in input but after connecting inductor series to that now variation is decreasing to this so that is how we can have little smooth dc but our aim is to have very smooth dc signal and for that we can increase number of elements by using inductor and capacitor as a filter so there is one basic circuit which is what pi filter which we use it in our usual life where by connecting this pi filter to the load we can provide more smoothness to pulsating dc which is what at output side the reason is here we are connecting two capacitor parallel to the load and inductor series to the load so here there will be three times filtering which is what happening that is resulting into smooth dc and that is how it is very useful in our circuit so that we can do it by replacing this load by this circuit so this two terminal this two terminal that should be connected over here and that is how we can provide pi filter operation let us try to see what happens with respect to waveform so here in waveform initially this capacitor c1 that will provide charging discharging and then after inductor will provide opposing change in current and again c2 that is what again smoothen out that signal so our signal will be almost dc after passing through the circuit which is what pi filter so here capacitor that should be connected in parallel to the load and inductor should be connected in series to the load to have a filtering operation in rectifier